Okay, so I'm Grasshopper. Hello and welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. This is a game where you pick a bunch of units, you send them in to fight a bunch of other units, and then it simulates the outcome. So let's play a bit of the campaign. I've played a bit of this already, but um, we'll just go through some of it. So we'll start off with just this level, see how it goes. Um, I haven't played this in ages. I've forgotten how to... Okay, the camera is the arrow key, so it's going to be clicky for you guys at home. So we're looking at a bunch of people with shields. Some people with clubs and spears. A shaman in the back or something like that. And they're all just chilling in the trees. We've got 3,000 points to spend, so what, what kind of units do we want? We want like a bunch of clubbers over here, a bunch of clubbers over here. Let's have like uh, three clubbing units. <laughs> uh, we can have farmers. Let's grab a harvester. Let's see how that works for us. Um, we can have spear throwers, cheap tans, clubs. Let's get, let's get some people that chuck spears of our own, put them behind the clubbers. Alright, we're running really low on uh, <laughs> on points. Let's get a bone mage. Um, they have two bone mages, so it only seems fair that we get one. Uh, screw it, just have one protector at the front and a clubber way at the back. Alright. Okay, they're all falling off the trees and dying. Ooh, they threw some rocks. Ow. Alright, what's going on over here? Alright, doing good this side, it seems. Ooh, no. That bone wizard really did a number on our units there. Alright, victory. That's not bad. We had a bone wizard, a peasant, a couple of clubbers to spare. That's not bad. You can't go wrong with that. Alright. We have a farm now. Looks like we've got a bunch of ninjas with pitchforks and a bunch of people dressed up as grain with sticks. <laughs> um, let's spend a lot of points on this thing. Because they are quite clumped up. So one of these big old units here. Absolutely firing a load of whatever it fires. Um, let's get some samurais in. Let's not put them in the way of uh, that boy there. I I'm fond of the clubbers. They're, they're just 60 points. You can't go wrong with them. Oh, halflings are cheap as well. Let's have one halfling at the front. Um, potion seller, harvester. Can't afford that one. All different cultures. There's a snake archer. Screw it. Let's try a snake archer. See how that goes. Um, leaves us 50 points, which is enough for another halfling to be at the front. And let's just see what happens. See that big unit fire off. Ooh, not bad. I would have liked to see it do more. The arrow seems to just uh, stick into them. Oh no, they're all getting back up. It missed! How could you miss? How could you miss? Ooh, point blank. That's not good enough though. The snake archer wasn't nearly good enough. Yeah, we got ruined. Alright, how do we reset everything? Yeah, clear. That clearly didn't work. Um, the Hoachi just seemed to like uh, stick into them rather than actually do any damage to them. Let's put another one down. A couple of firework archers. Samurais were useless. Maybe we need the numbers game. Maybe we just need a hundred clubbers. Go on, Hoachi. Oh, it's still aimed into the unit of, like, the people all padded up. I'd rather it go for, um... The pitchfork guys that seem less armored. Missed again. And they all get back up. Alright, fireworks are doing not too bad for us. Why would you aim it over there? Alright, that clearly didn't work. I can't trust this Hoach thing, it's just, it doesn't work, it's not <laughs> aiming in the right place. Um, the firework archers were quite effective, because they're quite grouped up. So let's go back to those. Clubbers seemed okay, maybe let's space them out a little bit rather than just having them all in one place. What kind of big stuff? A ballista, a minotaur, a Zeus. 
Alright, let's get rid of some of these clubbers, see if we can afford a Minotaur. See what see what the Minotaur does for us. Oh! Okay, I think it's instantly dead. The Minotaur sucks. Fireworks are really good. Oh, look at that. I think we should just get a bunch of fireworkers. Oh, they're dead. No, unfortunately. Not even like halfway. The Minotaur didn't do anything for us. Um, so clearly that's not how we should approach it. They're all grouped up. Maybe a dragon will work. Just like breathe fire all down on them. Maybe let's put a couple of firework archers all the way to the back. Because you have to get to them. Like, uh, the issue is we're all kind of running out at once. Getting stomped. I really want to take out the uh, pitchforkers. Because they seem like the dangerous ones. Alright. Dragon wasn't useless. Fireworkers might get some work done here. Clubbers are distracting them. I think we've won it. I don't see any more enemies. There's one. There's two. We've still got like seven archers. Oh, we did it! <laughs> the dragon worked. Putting the dragon down at that lower area really worked out for us. Alright, now what do we got? A bunch of people hiding in the fields, it looks like. Is there anything else on the map? No, it's just them all hiding in a field. Um, so we kind of want to meet them at the bridge, I guess, because that'd be a choke point. What if we just put nothing but spear throwers? Let's just see how that goes. Oh, I wish they wouldn't uh, charge the bridge, but I think we might get them at the choke point. Alright, we did really good on the- No! They're immune to spears! Alright, can't cancel that. Cancel them. Um, if they're immune to spears, then that's very useless. Ooh, a mammoth. Yeah, it's just a mammoth and a bunch of clubbers in the river. See how it goes. Um, what else can we use? A potion cellar. A couple of those. Uh, maybe a monk, just one. And a, a lone samurai at the front. <laughs> Oh no, the mammoth is trampling our own units. We needed the mammoth at the front. Oh lord, he trampled them though. I think we've won. Whoa! <laughs> nice. A mammoth was MVP of that. Let's just do two mammoths this time. Alright, what are we working with here? Alright, we've got two halflings and they jump at people and that's it it's just two halflings so what can defeat two halflings we only have 120 points two clubbers might or maybe we could have um a distraction halfling and then have a clubber come in and finish him off oh no he killed me oh no he didn't we're okay Come on, club him. Come on, club him. Don't let him grapple you. Club him. There's one of him. There's one of him and two of you. Oh, I'll punch him. There you go. Alright, he's back up. Hey, we won. Okay. <laughs> it was a bit messy, but <laughs> we got there in the end. Oh, no. It's nothing but halflings. Alright, now I think the spear throwing might work. Because the halflings jump and try and grapple a unit. So if we spear a bunch of them down like this, and they're all gonna what, jump at a, just the front ones and then get speared up. Oh lord, they leap. Okay, we're getting in trouble. We needed people at the front lines to protect the spear throwers. No! Alright, that didn't work. Alright. Let's, um... Let's try Protectors at the front. Because they got shields. Surely they won't be able to get anything around it. Uh, 
kind of arches we've got. We've got the firework arches. I wonder if they can shoot them as they get towards the bridge. That would be ideal. A couple of spear throwers. Then uh, if they do break the ranks of the shields, we've got a couple of clubbers. Oh, there's the fireworks in action. Oh, the fireworks sent a miles! Alright, the front lines are still working. Oh shit, one halfling got over here somehow. Oh no, they fired at our own people. Uh oh. These firework units are dangerous. Surely we win this though. I only count three or four halflings still alive. And like six of our archers. Oh, spear throw missed. Alright, now I only count one living halfling. Surely, surely you can get him. Go on, point blank hey, hey. shot him. Nice! With, oh, with only one or two units to spare though, just these guys. Alright, what's our next challenge? Okay, we've got a bunch of bards at the edge of a cliff. So we have to not get tricked into falling off the cliff. Oh no, we only have 300 points. Oh, jeez. What's a... So it's basically, do we know what the correct thing is? Maybe berserkers can't be charmed? Berserkers and a halfling? Maybe let's put the halfling uh, way back here in the trees so he doesn't fall off the cliff. I like the idea that the berserker can't be... Ch oh no, he's going to launch himself off the cliff. Okay, well that was easily cleaned up. They're all dead and our halfling survived. That, that MVP halfling just taking a walk in the woods managed to win it for us. We'll do this. This will be the last level, I think. Okay, we've got to back to the tribe. We've got a campfire and then a billion mages. So what kind of thing can we do to get there? A long shot? It's just a bunch of dudes in a boat. A, a long ship and a couple of Valkyries. They could fly over the top. Uh, Zeus is quite funny. Screw it. Let's have a Zeus. Let's have a Zeus here. And surround him with some uh, protectors of his own. No, not that many though. Space him out a little bit. Like that functions as a shield wall the same as the other thing would. Have some clubbers go in first. Make him use all their spells. Maybe even get some, like, speedy halflings, see if they can run them down. Baiting the enemies into using all of their stuff. Zeus can have a squire, that's quite funny. Baiting these wizards into using their spells before Zeus gets there is going to be the way we win. Just not having everything die at once. Here comes all the spells. Ooh, Valkyries are flying in. Try flies. Oh, the long ship fell over. Zeus is doing well, though. He's still up. Oh, easy win. We had like half our units left. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me on Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. If you found it enjoying or interesting, let me know in the comments. I'll play it some more. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.